couple of weeks ago, three of my optical HDMI cable all died. Not at the same time, a couple of days here and there, but all three of them are dead. Uh, so instead of replacing it with the exact same brand that may or may not die after six or eight months of usage, I got this. So I ordered this online from Pixel Gen Design. This is the brand that I've been using for about six years, I think, and they're all still functioning. They're still all in use in my home theater and all, all over my house. So to replace those three, I ordered this instead. They had a special a couple of weeks ago. So, okay, let's open this up. Uh-huh, I got this. And this should be more cables. Let's put the other two. Two meter. THX 8K. One and a half meter. THX 8K. One meter. THX 8K. And of course, to complete the series, half a meter. THX 8K. Yeah, so let's open this up and here's the cable itself. Nice, nice. Metal head, metal end as well. Pretty good. Let's install this. So just as a background for my Apple TV 4K, I use a Rui Pro and Zeskit uh, optical HDMI. I haven't been able to use the 422 option on my Apple TV when I use a Rui Pro and Zeskit. So I can only use 420 over there. So now I have installed the uh, Pixel Glass 8K from Pixel Gen Design. Let's see what happened. Um, keeping my fingers, toes, legs, eyes crossed. A few moments later. Can do it. Come on, you can do it. Yes. So now I can actually use a Chroma 422 option on Apple TV and also 4K 120 from PS5. Yay, cable! Yeah. After testing it further and for a couple of days, uh, unplugging, replugging, changing HDMI 1, HDMI 2, and on and on and on and on and on. And all the handshakes have been always consistent and stable. I highly recommend this cable, the Pixel Gen Design Cable 8K THX Certified uh, Advanced Optical Cable. It's a bit pricey, but historically, even my six-year-old active cable from Pixel Gen Design still works. So yeah, buy it once and use it for life. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye. And oh, don't forget to click like, share and subscribe. Bye.